everyone. Hello in YouTube land. Armando here with another exciting review. My second review since the hurricane. Well, is it my third? No, I think it's my third because I did Jen Urso before it hit. And then I did that boat. So yeah, anyway, I was at uh, my local Walmart and I found this. Da -da -da -da. Let me see if you can see it. Uh, hold on. Ah, okay. All right. Well, I'll put it down here like this. This is uh, Darth Vader with the Imperial Probe Droid. See? Last Jedi merchandise. Uh, I never had this when I was a kid. I always wanted the Imperial Probe Droid. So now they released it. There's one per case, and then there's three of those uh, those creatures that Han Solo was shipping that eat people. They were remember they wrapped a tentacle around Finn's leg and they were pulling them. Well, that's the one. Okay. Well, let's open it up here. Hold on. Let's set the camera up. Uh, we're gonna have to use the box cutter of freedom. Yes, folks, look, it's the Box Cutter of Freedom. Setting toys free since the beginning of this channel. Well, up on the top on one side, there's a piece of cello tape. You slice that. Open the box. Uh, give it a good yank. See what shoots out. And there... Instruction sheet. We'll go over that. We got Vader here. Um, we got. Uh, let's see. I think that's the probe droid. Okay, we got a stand. And then we got. Uh, uh, I don't know. I think you have to undo the. Okay, pull that open. Okay, so you just pull him out. And that's it. Okay, weird. I guess. I don't know if it's the same as the original. We'll find out. Uh, look, pull the camera down. Okay. Uh, what does it say down there? It's got that force link symbol. And it says Hasbro SA, represented by Hasbro Europe. Something, something, UK, number, U.S. patent, something. And then it says, uh, Lucasfilm Limited, Vietnam, something. I don't know. All right. Well, um, It must be from it must be an imperial code. This is not used by the Alliance. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, it's got cool little claws. Let me see. Uh is that articulated there? I don't think so. Yeah, that one is. Uh Okay. That one's bent really harsh. Look. Bent at the factory. They got a little rough there. Oh, that's the way it came out of the package. Look, Hasbro. This arm is bent.
uh, I don't know what the pose is. Is there an official pose for these, I guess? I don't know. I would think... Um, these kind of turn out outward? Maybe? Does this rotate? No. This rotates. That rotates a little bit. And this one's really bent. Um, I guess you just snap this in there. And that's your probe droid. See? Ta da! I'm supposed to shoot a projectile. See, there's a hole right here for the projectile. Um, no secret compartment, no projectile. Yep, not in the box. I'm looking right now. Okay, weird. It does not have the projectile. That's supposed to be right there. See the hole? Oh, okay. Vader's there. Let's see what it says here. Okay. Stand support. Force link. Pick up droid activate. Well, you got to use the force link. Move droid in any direction for effects. Tap force link for battle sounds. Pick a figure to activate phrases. Move figure forward, side to side, activate additional effects. Continue tapping force link for more sounds. Okay. Okay, well, look. It's got a diagram to fire the missile. Number two. You push it through. You can see through the missile, look. See the hole there? It's not here. It was not included. Unless it's behind Vader. And no, it's not. You saw it here, folks. You saw it here first. Considering it's five points of articulation, it's a very nice Vader. Soft goods, soft plastic. Look at the detail, huh? Pretty nice. Wow! If they had released this back in in the seventies and seventy-seven, with this level of detail, it would have been something else. I mean. Sure, the Vader was cool, the ones we got, but. I think the sculpting is getting better on them. The hand turn? No, it's pre molded like that. Does Vader's eyes light up? No. So, yeah, neck turns, arm, shoulders turn, turns here. Can sit in the ship probably. Cape comes off. If you want to do that pose. Pretty cool. Well, that's Vader from uh, Empire Strikes Back. I guess that's the recipe, so 
Maybe the the one that comes after this would be like Return of the Jedi <laughs> or something. But yeah, I have to contact Hasbro. Maybe they can send me that missile. Factory mistakes happen. Don't have the missile. Not included in there. But oh well, we'll do a little uh, site comparison here. Thing. Maybe a little bit forward. There you go. <laughs> uh, no missile. How weird. And this arm's bent. Right here, this one. So you can see some of the white plastic right there on that little hydraulic thing. Oh, it does turn, look. Okay, well. I know it's not supposed to be bent like that. Look, look, let me show you. You see how it's bent at an angle right here? It's supposed to be straight. That's okay. Let's see, we'll put these arms down. Oh, it's a cool droid, but no missile. Alright, that'll be a thumbnail. Alright, I like this figure, this pack, it's cool. I never had it as a kid, now I do. Uh, doesn't have the missile though, but maybe I can use a projectile from another Force Awakens product. They all had projectiles and stuff. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, let's make that the thumbnail. Yep. Hasbro, you screwed up, damn it. You forgot to put the missile in there for me. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, 12 minutes in. Uh, okay, well, I hope you liked the video. Uh, pick this up. You can find it. It's a, it's a good figure. It's a good two-pack. I don't know how rare that is. I've never had one. I finally got one. So, that's cool. I really wasn't into Star Wars. I, I'm, I'm more of a G.I. Joe guy, but, you know, I don't know. There's something about it that really, uh, really like it now. I have drunk the Star Wars Kool-Aid. Anyway, I hope you liked the video, folks. I hope everybody's doing okay. I hope everybody that's in this, the path of Hurricane Irma takes precautions early. And if they say evacuate, I think you should if it turns into like a five. I survived a four. I don't know if a five is survivable. Maybe if you had an underground shelter, if you lived in a shipping container home, then yeah, you'd probably survive it. But... Uh, just a regular house or maybe a mobile home. I, I would move if that was the case. But, uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys are doing okay. I send out my love and positive energy to everyone watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what's going on in your world. What's going on in your country? I hope I hope everyone has enough food to eat, a roof over your head, and someone to love. May the Creator bless you, keep you safe. This is Armando signing out. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. Oh yeah, and shout out to Sage Forsaken and B Beatrice Weems. Uh, Fidel Martinez. Shout out to Sonia Garcia over in Odom. Shout out to uh, Debbie Garcia over in uh, 
Well, she, I think she's in, somewhere in Mexico. Hey, Debbie. Hola. Uh, shout out to Ben Garcia. And uh, I guess who else? Who else watches my channel? <laughs> Rosie. Shout out to Rosie. And uh, well, anybody else is watching the channel that uh, that kind of close to me? Hey, shout out to everybody. I hope you guys are doing okay. And who else? Oh yeah, shout out to everybody that works at the Odom Dairy Queen. You guys make a very very good hamburger. That that uh, that Hunger Buster. Wow, it's right up there with a Water Burger. And it's very tasty. So, yeah, you guys make good burgers there. Shout out to Odom Dairy Queen. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll see you in the next video. So, I'm on the signing out. Have a good one. Bye-bye.